Hello there guys. Well, today we're gonna install Windows 1 and Microsoft DOS 3.31. First first of all, of course, we're gonna install Microsoft DOS because you gotta have Microsoft DOS to install Windows 1. Even, uh, you know, Windows 1 is just a shell for Microsoft DOS. It's just a window manager. So I'm setting up the drives in the BIOS just to make sure, like the floppy drives. One and two, hard disk reads as you can see it's primary one that's good so we can finally quit bias features chipset features power management okay supervisor password user password auto detection i think we're good to go here so we can save uh let's get the disk inside for microsoft dos which is right here three and a half there you go so yes let's restart and hope for the best let's see how it goes Is it gonna boot up? Yeah, dates all right, good shit. So, F disk is the first thing we're gonna do. We gotta make a partition. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's restart. That was pretty simple. And now we gotta make sure to wipe it all. So, format C. Goodbye, disk. You're gonna be missed. Yeah, let's let's get it over with. Okay, it's it's ready. So we gotta install Microsoft DOS now, which is pretty simple. First command. Okay, there you go. Now we gotta make a folder, which is gonna be called DOS. There you go. Folder is ready. So we gotta copy the system files now. Most of them. C slash DOS, there you go. It's gonna take a little bit. It's a very simple procedure, generally. Look at that. It's just great. All right, so now we gotta copy command.com, choose the disk root. Command.com, choose C. I think I'm not nah, there. Yeah, it's correct. So now we do have it all set up pretty much. Oh no, that's just if I. It's just one floppy. It's a single floppy install, so we don't need that. We would need that if we had like the 525 inch one, but it's the three and a half, so it's just that pretty simple. So now we have the system installed, and to make sure, let's eject let's restart so that you guys can see that we do have Microsoft DOS in there see Microsoft DOS 331 91987 that's pretty great but now we gotta get Windows 1 installed so that's what we're gonna do it's time to go to disk change drive B because that's the one which is 525 set up one make sure that b reads hopefully yeah it does read that was quick so i'm just gonna try set up let's see if it works it seems to yeah it does yeah i'm ready i was born ready set up on a floppy no hard disk please okay yeah, i'm okay with the folder structure Okay, Microsoft Git, great. Okay, I got it all. Yeah. Shit. No pointing device. Yeah, I do have one. Graphics adapter, it's a VGA one. IBM, uh, okay, it doesn't say color display. E uh, let's go with CGA, IBM one. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work. So it's gonna get the files in there. It's a pretty quick install generally. So now we need uh, a build disk which change drive B did to build press C to go on and it's pretty snappy making sure to get them all in there snappier impossible so now we gotta get the system utilities which we do have as well let's press C and see how it goes 
Set up a printer. No, I don't I, I don't want to set up a printer. No. Okay, font disk. We do have a font disk as well, which is right there. It's D4, it's labeled. So let's just keep going with that. Alright, so there's desktop applications. Well, it's a pretty quick install as you can see. It's extremely quick. So applications, there you go. Wow. Snappy days, my dudes. Snappy days. Pretty damn snappy. So it's making sure to get all the files in there. Setup now needs to read the Microsoft Write program disk. I, I don't think I have this one, do I? Oh, I do. Microsoft Write. So that's pre that's Microsoft Word, I think, back in the day. But with less features, I imagine. Well, we take a look at that soon it's not my okay so it's ready apparently Microsoft Windows is set up to operate on your computer you are now in the Windows directory let's see if we can uh, oh it doesn't work the tree command rip press F to pay respects but here's Windows and it's black and white uh, the mouse is way too fast because I'm this is a VM so I'm running PCM on top of uh, VM and it doesn't behave as it should, which is okay, given we uh, the videos only about how to install it and we can use the keyboard just fine. I mean, it was optimized for a keyboard given, like mouse wasn't quite mainstream yet. People used to say, oh, that's not like, oh, it's not a must have. And it wasn't back then. Because let's just say there's not a lot to interact with, you know, there's not a lot of functions for a mouse other than making f your life a little e easier. As you can see, here's the writing software. Hello, universe. This is me. I have no mouse. I cry. I do have a mouse, but it's fast and I am not fast. I cry. I cry, I cry. So we press all. Does it work? <laughs> no, nah, it doesn't work. It only works with. Ah, I think I have to. No. Yeah. Oh, it's not working. Surprisingly, it, it used to work with like Windows 2. Why is it not working on this one? Ah, <laughs> screw that. Let's just. How am I supposed to go up there without Alt key? Uh, uh, let's try control save to save file. It doesn't work as well. Well, that's lame. But the video was on how to install, and I might make a video later on using uh, the same install, of course, but on my main computer where I can actually use the mouse and browse through the system, see what's it all about. But I think that's all we can do now, given we ain't got a working cursor I mean it does work but it's way too fast as you can see it's insanely fast uh, uh, yes see not valid eight eight characters I forgot about that let's just call it dust there you go so as you can see we do have a clock it's a beautiful clock and now uh, it's barely usable as you can see <laughs> with uh, cursors way too fast. Well, I hope it helped you guys on how to install it. As you can see, there's not a lot going on. It wasn't even popular. You know, Windows 3 was the one that got like Microsoft on the spot. I mean, Microsoft was already big, but uh, Windows 3 turboed their growth, you know, after Windows 3, because Windows 2 and Windows 1 were not as impressive as it could have been. I mean, of course, it does help a lot, the interaction, but on the other hand, though, it's just a gimmick, because, you know, it's just too basic. There's not a lot of freedom. There's not a lot you can do with the system. I mean, they had a pretty, uh, pretty solid base for something bigger, but, you know, it was just not enough. Back in the day, it was just too raw. I think if they had waited to release like Windows 3.0 as Windows 1 in the future with a more, you know, solid base with a more solid interface and shit, but you know, that was back then. They 
had an urge to make money. I fully understand. But things would have been different had they waited a little bit more to come out with the system. Which, well, it, it didn't matter. I, you know, because Windows got where it is now. So after 3.1 mostly. And Windows 95, of course, which was definitely a, a huge step. Which definitely changed the whole desktop computing uh, game. So yeah, I hope it helped you guys. If you if you dudes have any questions, comment sections right down below. Don't be shy, okay? Don't be shy, dude. Just just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to leave a like if you wish and subscribe. Adios.